It's Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank here on AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM. Acting as our third base coach today and getting the hand signals going is Wade McElhaney, principal at Indiana Senior High. Good morning. Everybody's safe. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Good morning, Todd. Good morning. Thanks for coming in on a Friday, normally or Thursday, but we were otherwise engaged yesterday. Well, you're very busy. Yeah. I understand that. And we do appreciate the opportunity to come here and to uh, share information and highlights about our programs. And we want to congratulate Indiana Senior High again on raising a record amount of money for the Teddy Bear Fund Drive, over $20,000. Yes, our Student Government Association and Mr. Burdick and the students, faculty, staff at, at the high school look forward to to that, uh, to that event each year. All right. So what's going on this morning? Well, we have uh, quite a hodgepodge here this morning. And mm-hmm. we're going to start with uh, Mr. Gerald Smith. He's a secondary math teacher at the senior high school. And uh, he is also the co-advisor of the math club. And he has a special guest mm-hmm. here this morning. And I'll let him introduce uh, her and her mother. Very good. Good morning. Morning. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having us. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity to... Uh, uh, talk about the I uh, the Indiana uh, Math Club. It's an incredible group of kids. I had the opportunity to go with them to put Greensboro competition two weeks ago. Eighteen kids, uh, um, fantastic folks, and they won that competition. Our Indiana won that competition, um, and was led by uh, actually the youngest member of the Indiana Math Club, mm-hmm. um, who was Chloe Williams. She's here. Um, she got third overall at the Pitt Greensburg competition. Um, she was eighth overall at yesterday's IUP Math. Uh, competition and uh, a couple weeks ago she was also eighth overall at, at clarion and these are competitions from high schools from around the area um 250 300 students um and what's really extraordinary um uh, about our, our our top math club uh, participant is that she's actually not in high school um so if i can introduce uh-huh. this is uh, please. chloe williams please uh chloe can you tell us what what grade are you in um sixth grade sixth man and you're taking which math class right now? AP Calculus. AP Calculus. I, I don't like you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love you. Chloe, good morning. Hi, good morning. It's good to have you with us. And you brought your mom with you too, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so where does the math come from, mom or dad? Um, probably neither one. I don't really know who it comes from. <laughs> but you love math? Is this, is this the thing about you? You, you just love the, the whole idea of math? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. So in these competitions, uh, you're going against, obviously, students who are much older than you. Um, uh, Tell me about um, what the reaction is when you're able to step in there and and do what you do. Well, it sort of like comes natural to me what I do, but I I always get really excited whenever I do like amazing in these competitions. I would guess. I would guess. So what's the favorite aspect of math for you? What do you like to do most? Um, I really like doing logarithms because I'm really good at them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mom, come on over to this microphone over here and and tell me how intimidated you are by your daughter. Um, she's pretty amazing. She just picked up math at a really early age mm-hmm. um, and has really excelled at it, and pretty much I cannot figure out anything she does. <laughs> But yeah, so so parents helping the children uh, that ended pretty early in in Chloe's career for you. Uh, my husband still helps her quite a bit. He's uh-huh. had to um, pretty much go online and teach it to himself, though. Uh-huh. So well, that's, mm-hmm. and the people at you know Indiana have been just amazing. Yeah, Chloe, when you think about where you're going with all of this, um, do you have you thought that far ahead to, to what what you'd like to do in in college, and then after that? Um, yes, I'd probably like to major in math and be a mathematician, like maybe like on math research. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, well, you've certainly got yourself a champion there. Thank you. I, I, I guess we're probably going to hear about Chloe down through the years now for quite a, quite a few years. I hope so. That's amazing. Chloe, mm-hmm. congratulations. Thank you. And thanks for coming in. Now, Mr. McElhaney, who do you have second for us today? Second, we have... Uh, who has to follow her is what I guess is... The, <laughs> well, uh, uh, quite an act in, in themselves. But uh-huh. uh, Mr. Brocious, uh, secondary business teacher, but also co-advisor of FBLA, mm-hmm. he uh, has invited a few students here to talk about their accomplishments of recent. Oh, very good. Very good. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. Yourself? Excellent. Excellent. Um, just here today, talk about FBLA, Future mm-hmm. Business Leaders of America, and... Uh, 
We had taken 45 students to compete in Hershey at the state competition. And out of that competition, we actually had four students qualify to go to nationals. We're actually taking three. Mm -hmm. Uh, We had a team of Claire Kuzneski, Teresa Roth, and Aaron Fanning in marketing. Teresa is not able to attend because she's going to be in Spain. But Claire and Aaron, who couldn't be here today, they will be moving on. And then we had uh, Benji Walters qualify in business law. So these students will be going to Anaheim, California to compete uh, June 27th to July 3rd. Wonderful. Wonderful. So I got Claire and Benji to talk with this morning. You do. Wonderful. Claire, good morning. What were you marketing? Um, Well, we took a multiple choice test first. Mm -hmm. um, And then when we placed top 10, we had to do a um, presentation. And basically, we were marketing consultants for a new shoe company. Oh, okay. We had to give them three ideas for uh-huh. how to market their new product. You, you said you had to give them three ideas? Yes. Okay, what would you come up with? Um, we came up with an online store, um, pop-up stores, and then selling their product to big wholesalers like Dick's Sporting Goods, Nike, mm-hmm. places like that. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. And obviously, Mr. Brocious, they have to put together quite the business plan in order to get this done. They do. Yeah. Yes. We only, have, we only have 20 minutes to do it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow, that's pressure. Yeah. That's pressure. Did you feel the pressure on you, or did you pretty much have a good idea of where you were going with it right from the start? Um, at first, the first few minutes, we were really like in shock, kind of, because we've never had to do anything like that before. But once we got it rolling, we were good. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You're going to enjoy Anaheim. I loved it there. Uh, Benji, good morning. Good morning. So business law. Yeah, is that the is that the focus? Is that going to be the career path for you? No, I don't think so. Yeah, really? <laughs> really? Well, the, just the, having the adaptability to be able to, to do something with it. Now, what was your end of the competition like? What did you have to do? I also took a multiple choice test, but I didn't have to do anything afterwards. It was just the test. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So what about business law seems to click with you? I don't know. It just it makes sense to me. I think I understand it pretty well. Oh, terrific. Terrific. Uh, you got a quite a group to work with there don't good you? good group yeah very good group well terrific it's good to meet you both enjoy anaheim thank you. Thank, thank you it's great when i was there i walked over to garden grove it's right next door to the crystal cathedral it's fantastic mr McElhaney. good morning good morning again uh next up we have a representative of our student government association mm-hmm. here to talk about prom let him introduce himself and uh thank you very good. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I was here uh, yesterday with the Teddy Bear Fun Drive, but now I'm here again with Prom from our student government. Um, we wanted to give some information out about the uh, the day of Prom is the 12th of May. Uh, we wanted to let everyone know that the Grand March starts at 3.50, and all the public is welcome to come to come see the students uh, in this uh, special event. And then... Uh, other information, the prom will start at 6 and go to 11.30, and then we will have our after prom from 12 to 5, which is run by our prom parents, which is a great group of moms and some dads that uh, help out. Uh, and our theme is the Bohemian Dream. There you go. And yeah. uh, after prom is where? It is at the high school. Prom will be at Chestnut Ridge. Okay. Yeah. So Very good. That's, that's, Wonderful. And the public can come out? The public can come out to the Grand March, yes, Tremendous. at 3.50, yeah. Tremendous. Uh, is it in, indoors or outdoors for Grand March? indoors. Indoors. Yep. Wonderful. It's in our auditorium at the high school. Thanks. Yep. We appreciate that. Mr. McElhaney, you're back to the plate. All right. Uh, last but certainly not least, we have two gentlemen who are coming from our leadership seminar class of Ms. Devin Duffy at the senior high school. Uh, these students, among others, are involved in many of the leadership programs and clubs in our school and they either serve in those leadership positions or in executive members of those respective boards of those programs. But they are here to talk about uh, a very unique program that they were uh, part of formulating and, uh, and to share that with our school community because it not only uh, involves our current school community but also involves our alumni. Very good. Good morning, gentlemen. If you could introduce yourselves. Good morning. I'm Sean. I'm Jacob. Okay. I'm assuming you both have last names as well. Yeah. <laughs> and what might they be? I'm Sean Bray. There you go. Jacob Clark. There you go. Why don't you each take a microphone since uh, you've... And, and Jacob, you can pull that microphone up if you'd like. Mm-hmm. All right. So tell me about this program. 
Uh, well, it all started. Uh, Ch- Mr. Chuck Spadafora, a former attendee at IHS, came up, to, came with us to this, uh, uh, came to us with this idea to have a wall of fame that recognized distinguished alumni outside of sports, so that way people who dis- um, distinguish themselves in their career paths, whether it was science, math, anything to do with that. Uh, Chloe might be one of those people in the near future, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but as well as like if they help their community out in any certain way. We could recognize them for this. We could give them a distinguished award uh, so that outside of athletics, people could get recognized for what they've done. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Sean, you jumped right on board with that, huh? Yeah, so uh, as soon as they brought it in, we came up with a few criteria on, on how to be selected. We started picking a committee for the future because as we, gra- as we graduate, there's going to need to be more people to carry this forward for the first few years. And then we... Uh, brought everything, the memo, the criteria, and uh, the, the cost and the actual plaque that we'd be giving out to the school board, I think maybe two weeks ago or last week maybe, and uh, presented our, our ideas to them. And I think they, most, they recently passed it last Tuesday. So it's, uh, it's going to happen it's a go. this year. Yeah, it's a go. Wonderful. Now where is it going to be? It's, it's going to be somewhere in our school. Uh, we have most likely in our upper commons there's a few pillars in our building, it's going to be like a symbolistic thing where they uh, kind of support the the uh, pillars of our IHS. Um, there are going to be plaques in the upper commons where the hallways are most traffic so students can see what these great alumni have achieved and maybe be motivated to do what they have done. Mm-hmm. And uh, are you going to name one or several in the course of a given year? To start, we're going to name uh, several for the to begin so we can have a good base, and then therefore after we'll – maybe elect two or one or two every mm-hmm. year, and hopefully we will award them with the ceremony at maybe halftime of a football game or a, an assembly or some sort of situation where they can come and present and talk about what they've done with their career. That's a good, good idea. Gentlemen, congratulations on helping to get this organized. We appreciate it. Thank you. It is Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank. It's AM 1160 WCCS 101.1 FM. A pretty good group you brought with you today. Oh, they're an excellent group, and uh, it's really what makes our school community as special as it is. If I could just say one more thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, Those nomination forms for the Wall of Fame are made available uh, at our website, www.iasd.cc. And when you go to that page, you select the Senior High School, and you select the Resources tab, and you will see the Wall of Fame hyperlink, which will bring up the nomination form. And once that form is uh, completed, please return it to the main office of the high school. Uh, Or if you want to stop by the high school and get a form, we can run that off for anybody who doesn't have access uh, to the Internet. He is Principal Wade McElhaney with a group from Indiana Senior High. Thank you all for coming. Those of you who have to go back to class, go take a test or something. Um, Although I think Chloe probably already passed. Uh, There you go. It's Indiana in the Morning presented by First Commonwealth Bank. It's AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM. Fox News up next. Then Josh Whittison from our 1160 newsroom.